women have joined the scheme. They borrow money at low interest rates to buy sheep or cattle, or even seeds for their farmer husbands to grow. From those, they make a profit, pay back their loan, and can then borrow more to expand their business. But there's one man who wishes they'd never started, Tadele Ficadu, the local money lender. Amarit Doyo was one of the first to join the experiment. Now she teaches her own followers how to stand up for themselves. Despite no formal education, it's Amarich who now travels to the local town to negotiate new funds for the women's cooperative something which would have been unheard of just a few years ago. Amarich is a great personality. She is really extraordinary. At the beginning, when we came here, most of the women we see were shy. But I think slowly, the shyness has disappeared. Amarich should be proud because of her hard work. She has given opportunity to her children, and there is no better reason than this. Mm-hmm. With family planning a key part of the experiment, for the first time in living memory, the birth rate in this region is beginning to fall. But if Amarich's children are to get the chance to fulfill their aspirations, they are be forced to leave the region. There's only an elementary school nearby. The nearest high school is 30 kilometers away, and only a very few parents can afford to send their children there. Boy! 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 The local people have been raising money to build one, but it's still a distant dream. What's this? An area of land has been set aside for the project, but the school will have to wait. Through the morning mist on a mountaintop high above the Great Rift Valley, 
worshippers gather to pray. As the mist clears, one of the most devastated regions of Ethiopia emerges below. This is the area of Sodo region, known as the watershed. When the wet season arrives, vast amounts of precious rainwater brush off the mountainside, ripping the topsoil from the land before pouring uselessly into a distant river. An area which used to be lush with vegetation has become almost a desert. Over 10,000 people rely on just one well, and the nearest water has to be pumped from almost 300 meters below the surface. Once that area was uh, densely forested, but as time passed on, the trees were gone. The topsoil, which is important to grow crops, was exposed to erosion. And farmers in that area were not able to grow food. Something has to change, but our wool mailers determined that the farmers must do it themselves. From all over the watershed area, they've come together to block the water rushing off the mountain, forcing it to seep into the ground. Only that way can they begin to raise the water table to a level where they can get to it easily. Uza Yehu Solomon is our world's man in charge at the watershed. Physical conservation measure in Balo Wainam, Yetalayu, Badingai, Gorfane Makala Kalzadio Charlu, Trencho Charlu, Lelo Chramo, Pond Yetakofara, Uhau, Afarunat Wotan Dai Head, Yamakala Kalzarochi Saradu, Lelo Dombo, Sana Hiotawi. In the past, work was rewarded with free food from other agencies in return. but are wolves determined to get them out of their dependency syndrome. <laughs> Behind the scenes, though, some of the farmers' leaders are far from happy. Things aren't going well either for Amarich Doyo and her fellow committee members on the savings and credit scheme. Some women have failed to pay back the money they borrowed. The committee will have to decide either to give them more time or send them to court. If they take no action, others will think they can get away with it too. 
በዛ መሰረት ደሞ ወቅቱ ያለፈ ብድር ነው አዘነጋጅ ሰጠኝ ይሄ ብድር ወቅቱ ያለፈበት ጉዳይ ለምን እንደሆነ ያው ወሲቲ ቁጣባይንም መዳይንም እየከፈልኩ እየሰራው ነበር ከዛ በኋላ ለጆችና እነይ ልጆችን ማስተምራለሁ ቤት በላይ ላይ ቢወድቅብኝ ያ እየሰራሁም ቁጣባይንም እየከፈልኩ ዳይንም እየቀነስኩ መቼም ቤት ሲዳስብኝ ወይ እንዴት እኛ ያው ለለት ተንቀሳቀሰውበት ስሩበት ብለን ነው እንጂ እንስራበት ብለንና ለውጣችን እንንታይ ራሳችንን መቻላችንን እንወቅ ብለን ነው እንጂ በብድር ተበድረ ነው ስለ ያለቀድ ቢስሩበት አላልንም ስለዚህ አሁን የአግባብነት ያለለው መልስ ነው የሰጠሽን ብዬ ነው እኔ እንደኔ የማየው ለቤት ማድረጉ ጥሩ እንዳልሆነ ነው እንደኔ የማየው ግን አሁን ያው በትከፈል እንደከፈለች ነው ባትከፈል ያው በህግ ንብረቱን ለማሃበብ እንደሰጠ As the others give their reasons for non-payment, it's clear the committee is split. It's decision time. እና ኮሚቴ ይሄንን ሁኔታ ተረፍቶ በግዜው ገደባቸው እንዲከፍሉ ሲሟል እኛም ስማችን ከላይ የተዘረዘሩ ጥቅት ያለፈበት ብድር ያለብን ባን ከፍል ለመንግስት 100 ብር ለማህበሩ 150 ብር ጨምረን እንከፍላለን ስንል በየፊርማችን እናረጋግጣለን They've been given 3 months longer to pay should they fail they'll face court action and they all have to sign their agreement to this. Keeping a tight rein on the little money they have is important for lots of reasons, not least because of the need to raise funds for the high school and other vital projects. Solomon Kabele has recently been made head of the new health clinic in the town of Kela. catering for up to 40,000 people. It's the first of its kind in Sodo region. Previously, these patients would have to walk 20 kilometers to get proper medical care. Hulatsabu, yetosana persat beganzabu na begulbetim astwazu adirkwal. Na hulatsabu min yisamawal destenya no bemanenyawun saat metto agergelotun yagenyal. Before the clinic, local people were at the mercy of drug sellers, charging up to 10 times what the drugs were actually worth. Now, through their own pharmacy, they get them virtually at cost. It's a similar story at the regional hospital, which again, the people themselves built. When self-help first came to Sodo, they struck a deal with local government. If the people gather money and help build schools and hospitals, the authorities will pay...